it's Saturday morning and it's gym time. But before that, I gotta update this program. Let me show you. I've always used Adobe Premiere Elements 12 and then I updated to 20 a while back when I did all the upgrades on the computer and Adobe 20 kept lagging like crazy. It wouldn't do what I needed to do. I couldn't even edit or process any video. So I dumped the 2020 off there and put 12 back on. I've been using that ever since. But they've since come out with an update. I've been told that fixed all that. So redoing Adobe Premiere Elements 2020. And we're going to mess with it today and see what happens. Down to town, from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. Sun shining bright. It's a little bit cold out here this morning. It's supposed to get warmer though, so let's hope so. It's very important to stay in shape and especially in this industry to be in shape you know I'm far from where I want to be and this by no means is a look at me look at me type clip um, I'm very happy with my progress and where I've come especially as a 41 year old guy but I'm nowhere near where I want to be but I refuse to quit and refuse to let it beat me so I hit that gym five to six days a week and I try to stay in the best shape I can about a month before the lawn season starts I always jump on cardio at the end of my workout because I just I've had years in the past where I didn't do it and then the season starts and the first two weeks or so are just a living hell on me you know I, I have a lot of big properties with a lot of weed whacking a lot of trimming a lot of edging and just walking all those properties my legs just feel like I want to die even just you know I, I'm never a guy that skips leg day I work out legs two to three days a week it's probably my favorite thing to work out but um, I definitely put that cardio in hard um, today was just nothing but biceps I wanted to crank them out and you know I did everything I could with the barbell and with the dumbbells and then I finished them off with the uh, a couple machines there at the end uh, cable machines just to do lighter weight higher reps and just really give my arms that burn I was looking for um, but I train all my body and I try to train it hard just to keep myself in shape like I said I'm nowhere near where I want to be but I'm definitely happy with my progress and I walk at least 20 to 30 minutes every day in the treadmill and about the last two weeks or so before the lawn season starts I get on that elliptical and I just go hard on it but uh, it's something I strongly encourage you guys to do in this industry. Keep yourselves in shape. Take care of your health. You want to see something, fellas and ladies? You see that back there? That would be my open trailer. Somebody decided today that they wanted to buy a new piece of lawn equipment. And I'm not going to tell you what that is. You're going to have to keep watching this video until we get to that point. But that somebody is not me. It's this guy, right here. And no, it's not the new mower that I told you was coming and everybody keeps asking me for. We thought that would be here by now as well, but it's not, and we'll blame Richie Clemens for that. It's all his fault. So, um, I'm just kidding. It's not his fault. I just wanted to blame him for no ungodly reason. But anyway, this is a different piece of lawn care equipment. This is a used piece of equipment, and uh, you'll see it in a few minutes. We got a little bit of a drive. Okay, so we went and picked up Roscoe's new toy and I didn't want to film anything while we were there because, uh, I don't know, I just feel weird about filming where we're buying something from somebody and how they might think about it. But here it is. Roscoe bought a lawn roller. This thing is really nice shape. I mean, some of the paint's a little messed up here and there, but it has a steering wheel. It's not like the old one that I bought. Uh, it was used for blacktop, so it has the tank up here. You can put water in, then the valves trickle down on the roller but it has the plate on the bottom there and there. And then here as well, the springs are off it there, but they hold up to, uh, to knock the mud off or stones or anything off. But of course, this is the guy's name. Um, but uh, it's, an, it's a Brutus Roller Model 2M. Boy, that thing needs an exhaust. 
But anyway, it has a, uh, I believe it's a six horse Briggs and Stratton. This thing scoots right along. He, Ryan drove it, or the guy drove it over and they drove it up on the trailer and this thing really moved out. But uh, fold down seat. I mean, it's a really nice unit. It's in really good shape. And uh, we didn't even try to talk him down. It was worth every penny he was asking. The guy wanted $1,200. And uh, Ryan gave him $1,200 for it. So he'll easily make his money back quick with this. He's got a bunch of lawns uh, already ready to go that people want lawn rolling. And we both get calls a lot. I've already gotten three calls this year for lawn rolling. And I don't do it anymore, as you guys know. But old Roscoe does and he now has a lawn roller to make it happen. Yeah, definitely have to you snug up that seat yeah. a little bit. Definitely get a new air filter. Yeah. That thing was nasty when you took it out of there, right? No, this thing needs a couple adjustments. It obviously needs the brakes fixed. Yeah. We're going to get the brakes fixed because I'm not boat rolling lawns. Without no, you ran into your dolly over there, but yeah, that's no big deal. Get you know, the brakes fixed or get a new, uh, he already put a new chain on it. That's all new. Whatever is this. But in new Lovejoy fitting because that's busted apart inside there a little bit. And uh, I think this needs adjusted. See, it's all flopping on there. It needs some attention. Yeah. The gearbox might even need to be split open, and uh, there's gears and chains in there. Yeah, so. but that's no big deal. It's only a few gears. Oil definitely needs change. Nice and handy, though. You got a spigot right there to drain it. Um, it's a pretty simple. I would get uh, your Mighty Vac and suck this tank dry. Get all the crap out of there. It could be in there. Maybe put a new plug on. The plug looks pretty new, but that's. Uh, I would tighten up the connection. The spark plug wire's loose on there. Just needle nose and squeeze that connection back together so it snaps on tight. And... Oh, it definitely looks like a good little unit. So anyway, this is Roscoe's new toy, and that phone number on there is not Roscoe, so don't call it. But anyway, that's the it's from the guy that we bought it from. He bought it from. But uh, another little uh, little toy to for Roscoe to make some more money but we will, there'll be more videos on this to come. I'm ending this one right here. But as always, you don't have to do what Roscoe and I say to do. You don't even have to do it our way and you probably shouldn't anyway, but this is just what we do and how we do it. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.